Mayors make decisions that impact cities in immediate and long-term ways, but many others contribute to the su success of cities, including private sector organizations and leaders. SIPA would also like to recognize an organization and a key leader at an organization for its role in improving cities and the lives of people who live in them. Most of us know City as a global provider of financial services and products with operations in more than 160 countries. But City, including under the leadership of Ed Schuyler, its Executive Vice President for Global Public Policy and the Chair of the City Foundation, has also become a global leader in improving cities. The City Foundation launched Pathways to Progress, a three-year, $50 million campaign to support low-income youth in 10 U.S. cities and their preparations to enter into the job market. The City has also supported the City Accelerator Initiative to foster and implement promising innovations that benefit cities. I'm sure all of us have seen more than one of those blue bicycles around town uh, with the city logo, which I think is being copied also around the world. The city bike sharing program in New York and Miami continues to support transportation programs that support sustainability. Ed Schuyler also serves on the steering committee of City for Cities, an initiative to identify and implement innovative solutions to help cities thrive in a period of unprecedented transformation. Of course, many of us also remember him as Deputy Mayor of Operations for this city, New York City, in the Bloomberg administration, where he oversaw many critical functions of the city and spearheaded a large number of initiatives, including the, the city's sustainability agenda. For his lifetime dedication to the improvement of cities, for his continued role uh, for the city, organization and the, and the leadership of the foundation. We're very pleased to honor him tonight. Ed, please join me. Thank you, Dean Janow. I just have a question for the crowd. I mean, is it fair that I have to follow the professionals here? <laughs> but everybody's been very, very kind to me tonight. Everybody's come up and congratulated me and said, oh, you know, great job. And I keep reminding people that I'm not really being honored. I'm representing a company, a city, that is part of that network that Dean Jano talked about. As a matter of fact, I met two people just on the way in that are starting to work at City later this year. So we're really proud of the relationship we have with SEPA. And we have this shared interest in cities, as the dean mentioned. And for us, it's not just in our name. It really is in our DNA as a company. We opened our doors uh, 203 years ago down in lower Manhattan. And since then, we've really been serving cities as much as any of our clients. And right now, we've grown a little bit. We have a presence in the 100 fastest growing cities in the world. And not only do we support consumers and businesses large and small, we're really proud to have city governments as clients. I want to mention a couple of things that we do to serve those clients. First, we finance critical transportation systems that help these cities grow. Just recently, we financed the commuter rail system in Panama City, which is going to help 30,000 people get to work every hour. We also help cities get back on their feet. One of the things we're proudest of as city, at City is the work we've done with the Detroit Lighting Authority. So we all know Detroit went through a very difficult municipal bankruptcy. And at one point, 40% of the streetlights didn't work. Imagine being in a, in a, living in a city where you couldn't take a basic service such as a, a lighten up street uh, for granted. So we worked to raise $150 million in financing, and right now we're helping getting the lights turned back on. We're also very involved, as Mayor Garcetti talked about, in LA. We've been uh, financing the construction of affordable housing, about 5,000 units over the last uh, three years, and we're also fi helping finance transportation there, such as LAX, where we're helping fund the expansion and renovation to make it more efficient, something that I hope happens to LaGuardia as well at some point. And as Mayor Paez knows, we also have a long history in Rio. This month, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of our first branch in Rio, 
and we've been involved with iconic projects such as the Rio Night Roy Bridge, and we continue to count uh, Rio and other cities such as Sao Paulo as proud city clients. But we're especially proud of our work together about how you are charting the future through your chairmanship of C40. We're working with C40 to identify the cities that are the best at developing sustainable strategies, at developing sustainable infrastructure, so that we can replicate that work for other, by other cities. And in February, to do our part, we announced a 10-year commitment of $100 billion to finance sustainable growth. And this follows hitting our previous target of $50 billion over 10 years, three years early. One example in the U.S. is we're helping households in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh to make their homes more energy efficient by providing low-cost loans and energy improvements, such as installing um, uh, boilers and smart thermostats. And I want to make clear the examples I'm sharing here, they're not philanthropy. This is what we do as a bank. This is the type of lending we do, the type of financing we do, the type of uh, work that a lot of my colleagues in this room spend their, spend their days doing. And we're proud of that business model. We're proud of the progress that it enables. But we also, as the dean mentioned, are proud of our philanthropy as well. And one thing that we took on over the last couple of years is trying to solve the problem of the job skills mismatch in this country. So a lot of us know at any one time, there are three to four million young people in the country that are looking for jobs, but when they interview, employers just don't find them qualified. So it's not necessarily a job creation problem, it's a job qualification problem. And so we've been working with nonprofit partners to launch Pathways to Progress, which is gonna help 100,000 young people over the next three years to develop real workplace skills so they can find the jobs that they need to succeed. We're already off to a good start. We have 25,000 that we've helped in the first year. And not only are we looking to do, uh, double those efforts over the next two years, we're going to expand it internationally as well because it's been so successful. Because cities, as the mayor's talked about, are where complicated, complex challenges get solved. And we're really proud that we play a small role in their progress in building these solutions. And on behalf of all my colleagues at City, I want to thank you very much for this award and have a great evening. A very special thanks to our honorees for being with us tonight.